So, icebergs have been changed in a few ways. Uh, icebergs have been one of my best maps. I will probably put up some win percentages on screen. Um, and over the last day, I played it a couple of times. So I was just gonna make this video to kind of talk about how to probably improve your icebergs gameplay in a, a few simple steps. So first, if you are playing controller or have a controller on your team, smoke this, please. Like, by not smoking this, it allows the enemy team to have one guy holding mid. And they have an mid control over the entirety of mid. They know, okay, no one can come to orange or at mid, because we have this one guy. And then they... And have either 1B and like free A if they hear you A, or they can stack A. But if you have this simple smoke, they have one guy here, making sure you don't throw crew here. And they have to have someone to make sure you're not just lurking out here. And one guy making sure you're not kitchen. Or they have to spend a lot of UTOL to make sure that you're not pushing up any of these places. So just do that basically every round and the enemy team will have to respect you because a couple of rounds you will just lurk up behind them and just get a free K or something. So secondly, on icebox, normally you used to play like if they didn't smoke mid you just had one mid like a solo wiper E and then you could have like three guys A. Um, now, I've noticed more people try and B, and it's a way harder to all B. So, um, bear with me for a minute, this is kinda only wiper, but usually you would have this retake wall, but I mean it still works. If they plant on the side, you can still just put up this wall and back in the fuse. But what I would normally do is I put up that wall, and then I would... Just be jump peeking for like, like first five seconds. And then since B was so hard to take, especially with teams with no Sova, I would be like, okay, there's no one here in the first five seconds. They're going A and we would just be have one mid and then we were four with five A or something. And then we just couldn't do anything. But now jump peeking, this is more risky. Because if you want to make sure no one's just walking up here, you have to jump so wide, but if someone just swings, here. like, right here in green, from the cubby, they can probably just kill you with jump peeking, so... So, I'll probably put up a gameplay clip here or something, because it happened in one of my games. So, B is probably a lot easier now. Usually, the teams would be like, okay, we go B... 10% of the rounds and then 90% A or something. Uh, now it probably is like more 60% A, 40% B or something. Uh, I don't think a lot of teams will just run mid a lot of time still. It isn't a lot easier to take, but we might see instead of Viper just on B, you have like a different Sentinel holding this like a killjoy or a cipher or chamber or something uh, instead so this is probably the biggest difference uh, but the final tip on how to play icebox is being aggressive on a um, this is mostly for duelist i'll probably show some clips like this on the screen right now um, but uh, just taking map control with your body and maybe getting a pick or something helps a lot. Just it might be easier to do it on B, B now, but still B is kind of hard to take map control. Mid is kind of difficult to push out still. So on A, you probably still want to fight. 
So yeah, that's basically how you should play at Icebox to do better, at least in the lower ranks. Like these win percentages are from like gold to low immortal lobbies. So yeah.